Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Doug? We've all been through a lot. How's Doug doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... 
She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Hmm, nothing. continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's name. God bless you all. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. 
What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. There's nothing I need in here. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's...
It's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? <laughs> 